Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video on Myth of Empires. So I was kindly invited by the guys over at No Man Land who run a number of these public custom Myth of Empires servers to come check out what's going on and spectate one of their large scale base raids between Blood Legion and Mongols on one of their PvP servers. Blood Legion are going to be on the offensive here attacking the Mongols base going to be trying to break through the walls, get into the main base area to try and nab some good loot. I believe they're probably going to be taking some siege engines with them to try and batter their way through the walls. Looks like Blood Legion is now moving themselves out across the map towards the enemy base. Hopefully none of them managed to kill their horses on the journey. I know from my own fairly bitter experience how easy it is to sort of accidentally wander off a cliff and kill your horse. Okay, so it looks like Blood Legion have about reached the enemy base now. Starting to set themselves up a little bit of a forward siege camp, I guess they're going to base their equipment out of here. We also get our sort of first proper look at the enemy base, and honestly it looks like a pretty massive structure. But it actually really isn't taking Blood Legion long to get set up here. We can see that they've already got catapults going down, it even looks like they're actually going to be building a battering ram as well. My first time seeing catapults in this game, so that's pretty epic. It looks like the Mongols base has got a few sets of doors to it though, so then still going to have a fairly hard time, even with all this siege equipment actually breaking through, I think. We can see it all getting constructed up. I wonder if they're going to be throwing NPCs on some of these catapults as well, so they can get sort of a continuous barrage of fire while they move in with infantry. Battering Ram is nearly built now, plus the catapults themselves are pretty much all ready, so I think we're going to start to see them firing. And here we go, first shot starting to come in, starting to slam into the Mongols' fortress, as the Battering Ram is also moving down and into place. They've got a few gates to get through, so this battering ram's got quite a lot of work to do and has got to survive for quite a long time. Since we're on spectator mode, we can actually pan the camera to the other side of the gate. Cool to see the battering ram fighting through. Oh, so they actually get hit by their own catapult round. They are pretty much through the gates now at this point. I think they're going to be starting to move inside this base soon. We've got this little flamethrower thing that they're starting to push up, like a portable flamethrower on a wheel. It looks like they're going to try and use it to burn through this final set of doors. These are just like the smaller man doors. They've just got to hack through them with weapons. Uh, they're starting to push in then to try and get through to that final base. The Mongols look like they've got a very chunky boy on the other side ready to defend. <laughs> and then they're starting to push through. It's been through the night cycle and we're now back into the morning. It's taken so long to batter through all these gateways. Oh, they're actually through now. Oh, they're into the main base. Now the real massacre can begin. All the Mongols' NPCs were working on their crafting stations are being butchered. The bulk of the Mongols have already been killed, sort of fighting on the walls. We saw some of the archer fire going on earlier. I don't think they've got that much equipment left to defend. See, they've got a few archers dotted on sort of slit holes around the base, trying to shoot down, trying to stop them from getting in. But realistically, this base is lost. I think they're doomed already. Looks like they've lured... I think this is a trap. This naked guy just lured one of the Blood Legion into this box and then closed the door. He's now going to die. I reckon he's going to then respawn, grab good equipment and come in one of these like eight doors. And there he is. <laughs> he like set him up in like a bait trap, led him into a box that he couldn't escape from because it wasn't his door so he didn't have control to open it. I'm not sure he's going to actually win the fight though. He is taking a lot of damage. Go on, you can't just block the entire time, but you've got to actually get some stabs in as well. Oh, oh, oh no, he's down. It was a good bait, but unfortunately just didn't quite have the combat prowess to actually get him killed. Still got a few little bits of fighting going on around the base, but mostly it seems that the Mongols have been beaten here and kind of been suppressed in their base. It's fairly firmly been raided by the looks of it. Even some of them are starting to become arsonists and burn down what they can with the flamethrower. A few little chunky boys having a fight in some of the back rooms trying to hold out, but realistically, I think the Blood Legion have pretty much got this one secure. And since I actually only really had just a few clips from this base raid that I got to go on, I wanted to keep the video fairly short. But once again, a big thanks to No Man's Land for inviting me along. And if you are looking for a Myth server to join, check them out. I'll put a link to their uh, Discord down below. Thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.